The adoption of renewable energy in Indonesia has experienced a significant surge over the past two years. This is supported by the increase in electric vehicle adoption, which showed a growth of 15 times from 2020 to 2022. Deloitte Indonesia, in collaboration with Foundry, launched a research white paper on an electric revolution, the rise of Indonesia's e-motorcycle at the energy building in SCBD, Jakarta. According to the press conference, there were less than 2,000 e-motorcycles sold in 2020, but sales went up in 2022 to 25,000, with more than 1,700 battery swapping stations established. I always believe in battery swapping from the, from the very first day. That's why we come into the battery swapping, no charging. I believe this year, next year, we I'm very uh, optimistic that at least we'll see half a million uh, units of uh, motorcycle on street next year. In addition, Indonesian state-owned oil and natural gas company Pertamina extended its support in the electric motorcycle adoption and its swap battery technology with more than 100 stations projected to be built in Jakarta and Bali. Itu nah, kita ngelihat dulu traction-nya itu seperti apa nih? Uh, kalau misalkan memang dari sisi datanya itu penggunanya itu sangat banyak, baru kita akan menambah itu. Itu so far kan penggunanya itu belum terlalu banyak. Kan pemerintah udah ngasih insentif 7 juta baru dikeluarin oleh Kemenperin beberapa waktu yang lalu ya. Sekitar 1 atau 2 minggu yang lalu. Ya mudah-mudahan ini diharapkan responsnya positif gitu. Sehingga lonjakan lonjakan itu bisa terjadi. Even so, obstacles still linger, and one of which is public interest in the adaption to electric motorcycles, whether or not it is about the performance or the prices. Pertama, hambatan itu banyakkan masyarakat khawatir dengan jarak tempuh atau infrastruktur yang belum terbentuk. Belum ada skema yang win-win antara penjual dan bahwa banyak pilihan baterai Despite all this, the Indonesian government has set a target to grow 13.5 million e-motorcycles by 2030 with 19.2 billion US dollars on the market in a bid to support a more sustainable lifestyle in transportation. Reski Anasto Hanif Abdul for Seat Today.